they are lying to you. The food industry, and by extension those advocating a plant-based diet, can't stop lying. And in this video I'm going to talk about their five biggest lies. And I'm going to try and give the simplest explanation, example or both about why these lies need to stop. So if you're ready to get into it, please do me a massive favor and smash like and subscribe. Let's go. The first lie is that you need fiber. And regarding fiber, there seems to be two claims made by the food industry and the plant-based advocates. First, fiber is full of nutrition. Second, fiber will help you pass stool more easily. In other words, if you don't have fiber, you can put stuff in, but it's not coming back out. And neither of these things is true. Let's attack these one by one. Actually, fiber contains no nutrition. Your body gets no nutrition from fiber at all. So that one's simple, we're done with that. As for making stool easier to pass and preventing constipation, if you need fiber to pass stool, please explain to me why breastfed babies have no problem. As a father, I can attest to the fact that babies do not need fiber. I've had my fair share of gifts when it's changing time. And the thing about constipation is just garbage. Fiber adds bulk and is therefore more likely to cause constipation than relieve it. In a recent video, I joked through Bellshine about the size. Mm, it's a bit hard, usually about two feet long. And although it was a joke, when I was eating fiber, that wasn't far off the experience. So I have to say, in my personal experience of consuming no fiber over the last 10 months, fiber is not a requirement in the diet. The second lie is that carnivore is nutrient deficient. The food industry and plant-based advocates want us to believe that we are nutrient deficient because we're not consuming things like celery, broccoli and fortified grains. But here's the thing. Meat and eggs contain all the nutrition we would ever need. And these are the foods that have supported the development of humankind. In fact, it is the plant-based diet that doesn't contain all the nutrients required by humans. Which is why vegans need to supplement. Vegans don't get B12 unless they supplement. And how effective are those supplements? How effective are the fortified foods that they are eating? These are synthetic nutrients. Are they absorbed in the body the same way nutrients from animal products are absorbed? The third lie is that you need to eat a balanced diet. What other species eats a balanced diet? What other species worries about supplementation? What other species has to build their own healthy eating guidelines? What other species is unnaturally obese? The idea of balanced diet is as much BS as calories in, calories out. It's a soundbite that the public accepts because it's short, simple and seems easy to understand. The fourth lie is that LDL cholesterol is bad for you. And while LDL will increase when you're consuming saturated fat, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Whether LDL is bad or not comes down to context. LDL goes bad when it is damaged. And when it's damaged, it can't be recycled by the liver. And the damaged LDL floats around until it's eventually eaten by scavengers called macrophages. And this is why damaged LDL ends up in the artery wall. But LDL doesn't become damaged on its own. It gets damaged by sugar or glucose. So if you're not consuming foods that break down to glucose, the amount of LDL you have doesn't matter because it doesn't get damaged. And if it doesn't get damaged, then it gets recycled by the liver the way it's supposed to. And just a quick note, what do the products the food industry produces contain? Carbohydrates that become sugars in your body. Those very sugars that damage any level of LDL you have in your body. So where does the problem actually lie here? The fifth lie is that you can only get enough vitamin C if you are consuming carbohydrate-based foods. Fruit, veg, enriched garbage in a box. And this is not true at all. If it were true, every person who's ever been on a carnivore diet would have scurvy. But they don't. 
And that's simply because the requirements for vitamin C when you are not consuming carbohydrate are much lower. So for adults, the recommended daily intake of vitamin C is 90 micrograms and 75 micrograms for men and women respectively. But if you're not consuming carbohydrates, then the requirement for consumption of vitamin C is significantly lower. Smoking has a mechanism which interferes with the absorption of vitamin C. And so for smokers, the requirement for vitamin C, the recommended daily intake is much higher. And while the mechanism may be different, the same kind of rule applies to people consuming carbohydrates. What other lies and myths have you heard from the food industry and plant-based advocates? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you enjoy my videos and you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. Click the join button under this video or the first link in the description. Thanks again, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.